These are the flashcards that I have with me right now. Some of it I made and then some of it I ordered. So you have already seen this set which I just made today. This one is joinery. So what I did was I basically printed all the different types of joins found on the book. And then after that, I wrote down the equivalent term of the joint on the back side. So I'm using this type of paper. This is sort of like a board paper. And I actually already made some standard sizes or I pre-cut them into standard sizes. And then also, I binded them with these ring binders. I have two varieties of sizes. One that has a small diameter and then this that has a really large diameter. 
after this set, I also have other cards here. This one is Building Technology Illustrated. I have two parts. This one I got as a reference from one of the review materials found on Facebook. And this is actually pretty useful when reviewing Building Technology or BT. And then for me to navigate my way back to the first page, I place tabs or markers. Next, I have terms for vernacular. So I have four parts of this. I wrote down the English term on the front side and then the vernacular term or the Tagalog term on the back side. So I have four parts of those because I really couldn't fit all of it under one ring binder because there's a lot of it. Next, I have architect dictums. So I have two parts of this. This is actually is included on one of my vlogs. I think it was maybe vlog 13 or 14 but you can check that one out. So I actually digitalized this already but I also have the physical copy. I have cards for the Pritzker laureates. I actually made the song for myself so that it's easier for me to memorize the different laureates. It's sort of like this. John Sal Paragas, Sterling Roche, I am Faye. Some nights I call it a draw. Richard Meyer, Hansel Lane, Gottfried Bong, Kenzo Tange. <laughs> See, I lost my pacing, but it's something like that. I also have here the National Artist and the Likha Awardees at the back. Next, I also have this set of cards. This is the Philippine Churches. I actually ordered this online from Smart Cards. And what they basically provide you with is the church on the front side and then the styles, the location, and some other notes about each churches on the back side. I opted to punch holes on each card and then ring bind it so it's easier for me not to misplace the cards because I actually learned this from experience. This is my first set of flashcards. What I noticed was that it was actually difficult for me to retrieve each card because these are a lot of cards. This one, we have the picture on the first page. On the inner pages, I have the English and Tagalog version and then the definition on the back side. Maybe this one is good if you want to randomly pick a card and then try to answer each flashcard. For me, I think it's much more practical and faster to do it this way with the binders. And then lastly, I have this brown set of flashcards. This one I did not order, but this one is actually from UAPGA or the United Architects of the Philippines Graduate Auxiliary. So this one is actually included in one of my vlogs. I did an unboxing video of this and they basically delivered some cards about vernacular terms, about history of architecture, and architects. I also wanted to show you another set of cards that I ordered. I forgot where I ordered these cards, but but I opted to digitalize it. For example, modern and postmodern architecture, I have 110 cards. I actually use the Chegg Prep app as my digital flashcard platform. I do use Quizlet, but I really can't use the image option unless I upgrade to its premium. But with Chegg, I can also do the same. So like for example, I want to practice the cards. So for example, we have a flashcard here. You can just tap it and you have the equivalent name of that building. So it's really simple. So yes, now my table is just really messy. That is how I make my flashcards.